Hi guys, it's Rana uh, from onlinerana.com with a new video uh, tutorial. So in this tutorial, we are going uh, to configure our uh, biometric machine, which uh, which is the Ketico model i phase 702. So let's just jump back to our machine configuration. I'll see you back. Hi guys. Uh, it's Rana and welcome to new video tutorial of online learning with Rana. Uh, this time I'm going to deploy a biometric machine in a remote area. So this is a iPhase 702 uh, ZKT model. It's a nice model and let's power on this machine. Here is a switch of power. Up. Let's press it. So it's a RJ45 connector right behind this. You can see the power cable. So, it's powering on now it's a nice machine having a 400 facial impression and 2000 user capacity uh, more than 10,000 uh, transaction log so I have deployed in more than 10 I think 9 to 10 remote areas and this machine is working perfectly it's a nice uh, as compared to DTS I have deployed a different model of DTS, T1, T2, T3 but this machine is economical and it's nice to deploy, you can enjoy it. Ok, let's go to a menu, we are going to configure IP scheme in that machine so we can access in uh, uh, our uh, software and throughout all, so it's a configuration of that machine, ok, that's, it's alarming me, let's give me the fingerprint. It's admin access, so it's a lot new. Okay, let's go to communication. Uh, these are the basic settings of this IP address, subnet mask, gateway, DNS server, device ID, and communication key. I have set it to uh, 192.168.15.10. You may change it as you like, as your router scheme 1.10 or uh, anything. Let's change it. Suppose I how to change it. 1 dot 10 so it will be the IP of that machine so it's a 192.168.1.10 and subnet mark obviously it's a C class and it will be a 255.255.255.0 and gateway and DNS number that gateway will be 1.1 okay and it will be the IP of your router so DNS server obviously we will use DNS server of router and change it to 1.1 ok and device id and it's, I have set it to 1 you can name it uh, you can give any digit uh, 4 digit or 3 digit 1 digit so, so I have set it to 1 uh, communication key is the most important because um, using this communication key we will access that machine in our software so I have set it double two double two double you can set any key okay this uh, this is the main configuration of that uh, I will repeat IP address 192.168.1.10 subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and gateway 192.168.1.1 DNS server 192.168.1.1 and device ID 1 uh, communication key double two double two so save it and go back to your main menu so this is the main configuration of that machine and you can see it phase 1 f1 f2 f3 this is a, a short key to access the actual working of that machine when i press and go to f1 or this it so you can check it here you can see it so check it and when F2 check out you can uh, guide your user how to check in and check out before uh, leaving uh, your machine so go to F1 it will be checked in and go to F2 check out and F3 F2 I have uh, set it to undefined you can set it OT time a uh, break time and anything else <coughs> let's again go to a menu so here your keyboards you can set it to so you can see F1 is a check in, F2 is a check out, and F34 are undefined. Okay, 
and the uh, uh, the fair uh, parameters of uh, facial impression are uh, let's go to a system and face exposure is 70 is the best parameter and quality is 110 and maybe it will uh, make a two feet a distance between face and machine uh, you can set it to uh, 130 140 a quality and exposure more than 80 and uh, it will be best setting for face and okay let's get back uh, okay that's all take care